Hi, this is Dave from Dutch Tents UK doing another showcase on another tent. This time it's a Randstad. This one's a Randstad Jupiter. It is a very large six berth single pole pyramid tent in lovely condition. I haven't actually done a um, <clears throat> preview yet on Randstads. It's a bit unusual as they're my favourite tent. They're a bit of a go-to for me. I really like them. Um, a lot of De Ward owners will recognise them as being remarkably similar. They are, in, in a, you know, many, many ways very similar, especially in the materials they use. Um, so to start with that, I guess, they use the exact same canvas. So De Ward owners will recognise the little bear with the umbrella, the Vistlink mark, Vistlink... Um, KS202 320 gram canvas <coughs> if we're going to get smart about it um, they also use the same alloy rings there and on the tent and uh, same poles same ground sheet although Randstad uses sort of a biscuit colour and of course in the style they're very very similar as well this one is the same footprint as a De Ward Albatross uh, whereas the albatross is a four berth, this is a six. So if we have a quick look at the back, we can see why. Albatrosses are very rounded at the back, like a bell tent. These are a bit squarer, so you can imagine, going front to back, that in that space you would comfortably get a double and a single airbed. I'll just quickly pop a chair in there for scale, and you can make, get a better idea. So you can see pretty big. Now this particular tent actually comes with a inner tent as well. So Randstads um, always have these sewn in curtains as you can see here. This is the petition curtain, little tie backs, a lovely cotton material. Uh, the wards have zipping curtains and they're typically striped. These are just a straight biscuit colour. So you get this sort of very light airy inside on uh, Randstad's, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you get the same sort of air vents at the back. These have air vents down the side. Again, with uh, De Wards, you have a roof bar system. I've done a separate little video on these roof bars and how they work. Randstad's vary from De Wards though, with this deep porch. You can see with the chair for a scale, these are 1.5 deep. And then on this one, we've got two big green side wings. So if I pop another chair in there for scale, you can see you get quite a lot of out, covered outdoor space for wind protection. You've got zip on both sides. So if you want, you can actually put these two side wings together and it will cover this area here creating, I suppose, a sort of a half teepee. Um, so if you've got weather coming in, in this case from the right, uh, wind and stuff and rain, really, really good protection, really handy. Nice, nice little nifty trick from Manstad there. These are the original bags, the big canvas bag, the pole bag. And these two bags are for the side wings. So let's go around and have a little look. Again, really, really typical. Randstad. What perhaps um, uh, makes this one different from the typical otter, bunzing, beaver that we're kind of used to with Randstads is if we look at the roof, the height between the king pole and the door poles is not so great, so you don't have so much of a slope. So these tents are really designed for very tall Dutch people. So the door is unusually tall. Uh, most doors on tents are sort of 170 to 180. This, I'm, I'm five feet nine and on full tiptoe, I can just about reach the roof bar. So it's got to be kind of two meters tall, which is unusual. You can again see the very deep porch on the front. Randstads have very deep skirts, same as the woods. But you can see the shape at the back is more rounded. Still a remarkably beautiful tent and very, very, very strong in rough weather. Um, I've got the back all pegged down. 
but typically with Randstads and the wards these days actually I just peg out where the seam is so I have a guy rope there and I leave the others and you can see that you can get a perfectly good pitch the creases are really because it's been in the bag once it's had the rain on it they will all pull out and it will be very very smooth canvas is in really really good order we've got let's have a look this is the odd mark can we see tiny little might be something somewhere else another one somewhere maybe oh we've got another tiny little bit of bird poo in there but overall as you can see with a light gleaming off it the canvas is really very very clean absolutely no damage whatsoever it's a really good tent um i bought this tent um from a couple in their 40s who told me they used it for one four-week holiday in portugal in the algarve and bearing out the condition uh that would the condition seems to bear out what they've said um, it really is very very good condition the alloy hoops on the bottom of the um, guy ropes aren't chewed up I mentioned this one comes with an inner tent here it is still in its bag they never used it so this inner tent as far as I'm aware hasn't been out of its bag so it's brand new by all accounts so I'm gonna get it out in a minute and I'm gonna fit it it will connect in to these speed locks at the back of the tent. I know it has wool rich floor, uh, similar to Deward inner tents and hull campers. And uh, it should be quite luxurious and still be good enough for six people. So it'll be an optional extra if you're interested. Again, let's just have another quick look at this sort of outdoor living space. It really is big and usable. This tent doesn't have a sun canopy on the front of it but I'd question to be honest with you if you actually need it. Okay let's have a little look at this inner tent then. Just before I get the inner tent out it's got its own canvas bag. It's just oh the smell Look, I'm not weird smelling canvas tents. I've been told by a lot of people who buy tents off me that they smell them as well. So I'm not going to be fessing up to be weird here. It's a perfectly normal thing to do. Let's have a little look at what we've got. Tight. Okay, the moment of truth. This is the underside of the carpet wool <laughs> a woolen carpet two in the tents as I thought wow god brand new never used okay let's put these up and have a look at them okay so there is the sewn in partition curtain down and then tied up, we have the inner tent. Look at that in there. Mesh gauze here for ventilation. And transparent poly cotton there. Let's have a look inside. And the inner tent. There's two of these, there's the other one. I'm just gonna put one in for the video, just so you kind of get an idea really of the two spaces. I think if you were going to France or somewhere hot or near water where you had a lot of mozzies, this is where these really come into their own. You can still see right through it quite clearly. What a fantastic mozzie net. And extra insulation on the floor with a wool floor, tartan wool floor. Actually, incredibly like a Hulk camper floor carpet and a Deward actually. They probably come off, all come from the same place. At the back, 
<clears throat> Got the air uh, vent of the tent open. And we have a vent for the inner going to the outside. Is it me? Or are you watching this thinking, wow, this is a really, really nice tent? <laughs> Christ. Difficult to capture this on a phone camera, but really, you put this up against a DeWard albatross and you want the albatross over this? Wow, no, no, no. Sorry, this is the better. Sorry, DeWard fans, this is the better. This deep porch, the same build quality as DeWard's. Right down to the stitching when they stitch the eyelets in. For the tent poles, go up there. Can you see some stitching there? Just about. Yeah, because Randstad stitched them in as well, just like DeWard did. It's, a, it's such a shame they went under. They really were. I think they're with DeWard, complete best tent makers in the world. This is so nice. The irony with Randstad's is that sellers in the Netherlands tend to sell them cheaper than DeWard's and uh, it means they're able to be sold a little bit cheaper here. They obviously don't have the name of DeWard yet but I think that's changing. I think lovers of pyramid tents are starting to realise that how, do, how good Randstad's are and I think, well hopefully, this video might help take that a little forward. It's a little messy in here at the moment. <laughs> this is what happens when you put tents up to stage them. Ugh, getting all those pretty pictures takes ages. But, wow, this is beautiful. God, I really want to keep this. But for me, my wife and our daughter and our rascally whip it this is too much it's too big for us we have a um a really really old otter possibly from the 1960s or early 70s it has a, a label on it that i've never seen before um very flat fronted with a very just a very single deep sewn in porch an unusual tent uh, very very old hardly used immaculate um that's ours I'll maybe do a video of that one day. Okay. I think I've rambled on enough now. <laughs> um, if you are interested in this tent, um, it will be uh, available on my Facebook page, as you are aware, because if you are watching this video, that you're on my Facebook page, uh, Dutch Tents for Sale. If you're interested, please be very, very quick. I suspect this is going to fly very quickly because um, I'm only asking £580 for it. I have the original receipt um, from 2006 that shows this was 1500 which uh, is shy of €1,600. Euros, and that did not include the inner tent and it did not include the side wings. They were extra. So when the guys bought this and used it only for four weeks one time, they spent way over 2,000 euros. At that time, that's probably about the equivalent of 1,700 sterling. These tents are good for 60 to 70 weeks or 35 years continual use. So you appreciate with four weeks on the clock, this thing isn't, well, it's not even run in. And for 580 pounds, it is an absolute steal. I'm hoping it'll make some family very, very happy. And if you buy it off me, I am going to ask you for some, fa some family snaps. Okay, uh, thank you very much and goodbye until next time.